Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So today is Saturday and I started my day with a home workout. <laughs> if you would have told me during the pandemic that I would do a home workout voluntarily, like by my own free will, I would have never believed you. <laughs> I absolutely hated and despised home workouts during the pandemic. Why, why am I doing a home workout now? Well, good question. I realized when I was starting my nine to five and I was commuting every day so much that I just couldn't make it to the gym four days a week anymore. And so I made a three day workout split and I was only going to the gym three days a week. And you know, life became more busy and hectic and I have other priorities. So I don't always make it to the gym, sometimes not even three times a week. For the longest time, I thought thought that a good workout needs to be lifting super heavy weights. I was like, why does it have to be this all or nothing mindset? I can just do a little workout at home. Like I can train a little bit of upper body if I can't make it to the gym. I can train just abs for a day. I can go on a walk. I mean, I go on walks because I have a dog, but I can go for a run. I, I can do pretty much anything. It's better than nothing at all. It saves me a lot of time. I can do it from the comfort of my home. I don't have to leave Bowie home alone. I can listen to my music. I can vibe. I can do a little bit for my body. I did a leg day yesterday at home, which wasn't the best because I didn't have a, I didn't have a lot of weights. Okay. So for example, my hip press were very easy, but but I could feel my legs, okay? I could really feel my hamstrings. I was sore after a home workout with very easy weight. As I mentioned, it is Saturday. It is after 12. We had a super late breakfast, but honestly, I love a late breakfast. It's, it's the best thing ever. It is super hot today. So usually I like to edit outside when it's warmer, but I think I'm just gonna stay inside. I have all the curtains closed because it is so hot. Gonna spend the day editing. And then at 6 p.m. we have um, a table reserved at a restaurant. I was craving a Caesar salad and some, they have this pizza bread. So yeah, we're gonna have a little date night and then we're gonna watch some soccer in the evening. And that's pretty much the plan for today. Ready? I'm gonna quickly show you the outfit. Okay, very quick because we're very late. I filmed the get ready with me for Instagram and forgot to watch the time. This is the outfit. I'm just wearing a basic red dress, which you cannot even see because the blinds are closed. But this is the dress I'm wearing and I think I'm just gonna put on some slippers and a white bag and that's it. It is a few, I mean, not even a few days later. It's almost a week later. What happened It well, on Sunday we went to my mom's and I wanted to vlog a little bit of a relaxing pool and garden day, but I didn't feel very good. I didn't go in the pool because maybe it's going away until the next morning and I don't want it to make it worse by going into the cold water. Then I woke up on Monday. I wanted to go to the gym, but I was really starting to feel sick and then I had a job interview, which I also, I wanted to vlog it all, but then I felt so weak. Going to the job interview on Monday, well, it was awkward, like pretty much all of them. I, I, I hate them so much. I had too many for me personally in the last few weeks and I still have a few more and it's, it's really getting to me. It, it's always, it's always the same and it's, it's always awkward. And then after I came home on Monday, after the job interview, I was really really feeling it that I was getting sick and then Tuesday came and it really hit. I didn't have any fever or anything but I, my nose was just so stuffy and I don't know if you if you know what I mean if you just you're just weak you're tired your focus is not there you cannot do anything you just and so I pretty much was rotting Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday. Yesterday I felt like I could do a little bit. I was editing some stuff, but not, not a lot. The energy was still very low. So I am glad that today it's Friday and I do feel better. I need to get some groceries now because tomorrow I invited two of my friends for an 
Eros evening because these are the two friends I'm going to the Eros tour with and they both don't know each other yet so I was like it would be fun to invite them both to my place so it's not gonna be super awkward on the day of the concert you know when we all meet that they have seen each other before and we had like an evening together um, so they're coming tomorrow and the plan is you know just grab some food chill hang out I don't know if we're gonna make bracelets I don't know if we're gonna watch the movie but I wanna buy some drinks in the Eros color Colors. Not all colors because I don't think we can drink that much. Also, I'm gonna use the chance tomorrow to practice my Eras Night One makeup where I wanna go in the lover era. I still need to tidy the apartment, clean the apartment. But it's gonna be a very quick clean you know this is my favorite clean when you're getting someone to visit your apartment because you clean so effectively like it looks clean everywhere it's a deep clean but it looks clean everywhere let's get some groceries Okay, quick grocery haul. We got some potatoes because we are eating Caesar salad for dinner tonight. I didn't mention that we are having a sleepover tomorrow. I also wanted to buy some things for breakfast. So I also bought some bananas because you can always freeze them, make a smoothie with them or what we made in the last few days. We make banana ice cream as a dessert in the evening with the frozen bananas. So good. We have some peaches for yogurt in the evening or to snack in between, some quark. We bought some barbecue sauces for I don't know when, but this is an apple barbecue. This is like this thing from Aldi where they save fruit or veggies that are not pretty enough to be sold at a store. And we love trying new things every now and then when they have some things. And sweet potato curry. Then for the breakfast, I bought some bread, some toast. I have the bananas. We obviously have peanut butter at home. We have jam at home. I bought some cheese and some ham for a little bit more savory. And then I bought this. This is one of my favorite things that Aldi has. This is this tomato basil spread, bread spread. Oh my gosh, if you have this in your country, you need to try this because this is the best thing ever. And then I bought some guacamole. That sounds weird. I always say guacky. Guacamole, yeah. For snacks, because we're drinking, I bought some tortilla chips and some salted chips. I love salted chips. Like plain salted chips are my favorite. We bought this lemon biscuits honestly i'm so obsessed with lemon and i know it's a trend at the moment which i i love i tried lemon cinnamon rolls for mother's day for my mom and they were the best cinnamon rolls i ever had long story short lemon biscuits we already ate a whole package of this so we needed to restock them and then i just got some pineapple in pieces because i like to put them on some tortilla pizza if we ever have one i think we're gonna have a tortilla pizza on monday or tuesday before we're leaving i stocked up on some chickpeas because recently i've been obsessed with chickpeas number one i made this wrap in a few videos ago in a meal prep video but what i have been eating lately is when you are lazy to cook anything when you don't want to cook what I have been making is I just cook spaghetti and then I put the chickpeas. I use one can for two people and I just season them with salt, pepper, garlic and a little bit of paprika, put them in the air fryer and then I just put the cooked spaghetti with a store-bought pesto, chickpeas, parmesan on top. Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10. And the chickpeas get so crispy in the air fryer and then they don't have this weird consistency. Oh my gosh, I love it. For the fun part, the alcohol and the drinks. Oh my gosh, wait, I forgot something. Yeah, we bought some cereal because they were reduced in price, which I always love buying them because when that cereal gets so ridiculous expensive. So last week I bought my Cheerios. <laughs> I had to restock them immediately. I'm, I'm having a Cheerios phase, okay? And then this Cine Mini ones. We didn't buy everything today. We had some things at home. I have this pink strawberry chin which is gonna be great for lover and i bought this a wild berry to mix it with then we have sparkling wine which maybe i should have taken more and i bought some orange juice also for the breakfast but also for feel less like sparkling wine and second mimosa then we have a bottle of red wine because 
you can always use red wine. I also have a white wine at home. And then we have vodka, which I thought would be easy to mix everything with. I am not a vodka fan. I don't really ever drink. And if I drink, then I like to drink wine. But since it's an Eros evening and I wanted to have colorful <laughs> drinks, we already had this at home. And I got this cherry juice, which is gonna be really exciting for red. And then I got this blue juice, which I saw on social media. I don't know who posted about it for the 1989 era. I mean, it's not as blue as I wanted it to be. Oh, and then I also bought, I don't know for who, I, I bought a rosé because I don't know why. It is the next day. I didn't want to film the cleaning yesterday because I just wanted to quickly get it done. But I thought I would show you the apartment because it is so, so clean. Look at the kitchen. I mean, the desk doesn't look that organized, but only because I put my era stuff here. This is kind of like where everything all collects all the time. And this was such a mess. And then the living room. Here I already have the bedding for the two girls, Kathy and Lisa, that are coming today. And yeah. TV. I don't think you can really see how tidy the bathroom is. It looks messy, but I cleaned the entire shower and the tiles are white again, which is very nice. I feel like my apartment always looks messy because I like to have things laying around because here I also like to have my makeup just when I need it. And here is my, my first night Eros outfit, Taylor Records and my gym bag. But yeah, I, I still think it looks clean. I'm definitely not about the lifestyle where everything has to be put away. I like it to... I like to have my things laying around, okay? Things that I need on a daily basis. I don't know. It is 3 p.m. <laughs> I wanted to start getting ready half an hour ago because I wanted to take time to do my makeup, do my hair, practice for the Eros tour. I don't know what happens. It happens to me all the time when I need to get ready. It always gets later. I'm gonna hop into the shower very quickly and then get ready, which I'm not gonna film because filming and getting ready makes me nervous and I also want to listen to Taylor. And then I'm gonna show you the outfit at the end. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear today because we're just at home. So I want to be comfortable, but I also want to look cute. Okay, let me quickly show you what I want to wear today. I was thinking about this top, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling it. And then I have this 90s baby top, which I think is very cute. Maybe with this trouser, with the gray one, and then later on wearing joggers. Or wearing blue and pink, because I also want to do my makeup blue and pinks. I am done and honestly after the whole Olivia Rodrigo drama, I went to the Guts tour recently if you haven't seen that video and I didn't try my makeup before I did it and then I did something completely new with glitter which I immediately regretted, almost had a mental break, I had a mental breakdown. Then I was like I need to try my Eros makeup and honestly I don't know what I was expecting for my lover makeup to be but this makeup screams lover and I honestly... Ah! I'm so happy. I wouldn't have thought that it would turn out that well. Like, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's all I want. Oh my gosh. I even photographed the eyeshadows, <laughs> circled them in on my phone to know which ones I used. I'm not gonna go through that stress again, okay? I pinned back my hair. That worked very well. I'm just wearing random earrings. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear them to the Eros tour. And I just put on some glitter, like, just to see where it would be. It's not very even. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do curls for the Eros tour. That's the only thing I regret and I don't have time now to curl them anymore. I wanna keep the process getting ready for the Eros tour as short as possible. Making curls would stress me out probably even more because I remember when I had my graduation day, I almost cried because <laughs> I, I thought I ruined my curls. I don't really curl my hair ever. So that would add some stress to the days. Number two, do the girlies wear lashes to the Eros tour? I need to look so through some photos that I saw and see if someone wore lashes. I never wear lashes. I never wear fake lashes anymore. I used to wear them all the time. The only thing is they do look better on photos, which I realized when I had my graduation day because I wore fake lashes on that day, but except for that one occasion I don't wear fake lashes anymore. But do I want to put myself through the stress of the lashes eventually not sticking? That's always the one thing where I'm like, I don't know. Ah, the outfit. I, oh my gosh, it is so dark. Why is it so dark? Camera doesn't really do its thing. 
I decided to wear the blue top with the pink trousers because my eyeshadow is blue and pink as well in the lover theme and I thought this would be perfect. I don't know why the lighting is better now, whatever. Also, we're gonna pick up some food later on and first I was like, oh my gosh, I need to pick up food like this. And then I was like, we should normalize doing this. Honestly, I loved going around in my glitter outfit for the guts tour. I, I kind of want to wear this every day. Like, why not? Why not? I saw Ellie, um, Ellie Sheehan, she's doing a uh, tailor video on YouTube. I love her. And she was wearing her Eros outfit now just on a random day out and I was like we, yes I want to do that too because after the Eros tour is over what am I gonna do with my Eros outfit? Same goes for the makeup. So I'm so obsessed with the makeup I just want to keep staring at myself. I've never I don't think I've ever had that good makeup even back in the day where I was like obsessed with makeup doing different eyeshadows all the time. This is peak eyeshadow. It's 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 Scream slobber and I'm so happy. Okay, okay, now I need to pick up my friend and I'm gonna do a little bit of B-roll of the evening. It is, again, a few days later. Am I the worst vlogger ever? Probably. <laughs> so on Saturday, when my friends came over, I didn't want to put out a camera because we were just enjoying the evening. And the evening was super fun. All drinks were good, but I think the favorite for everyone was the lava drinks. We were picking up some food. We were planning some Eros outfits. We were planning the Eros day because we realized it's quite stressful because the entrance into the stadium is already at four so to get ready and also to film the videos and to get to the stadium very early it's like we have to start at 11 <laughs> and i'm also going the night before so one friend and me we're not from vienna the concert is in vienna and the other friend she lives in vienna so we meet at her place but she also doesn't live too close to the stadium so it's all like Ah, <laughs> um, yeah, that is that. We were planning all of that. It was super fun planning the outfits, planning the day. We were listening to Taylor. We were just chatting and then we decided that we wanted to watch the movie. We didn't watch the entire movie because we were tired. We, we skipped a few parts, but yeah, it was it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. And that was the Eros evening. <laughs> As you can maybe tell by my background, I am not home. <laughs> I am currently in Italy, which I'm not sure if I should do another vlog about it, especially thinking about how I didn't even vlog for this vlog. <laughs> How many times can you see a vlog? It looks so nice. I'm like, I want to show a little bit of it. Even though there was not a lot of vlogging involved and I was just updating, I hope you still enjoyed the vlog. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!